Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to take care of your Glowfish Aquarium 2022. First, you're going to need to choose your rocks. I totally don't recommend Glowfish brand of rocks because it could kill your fish because the bag of rocks has pieces of debris that come with the rock. So it'll float up and the Glowfish will try to eat it and it will poison them and hurt them. So please don't get that for your fish. Next, you're going to need some plants or hideouts. So I have these mushrooms, and I have this little anemone, and then I also have the, these um, barrels. So what you want to get, I recommend for your fish to get the Glowfish brand plants because if you get the Glowfish brand, they'll be bright for your fish, and it'll make your tank look very bright and cool. Also, I, re I recommend the exact same thing for your hideout cave, whatever you want to call it, because it will also be... It'll stand out a lot more, and it'll make your tank look a lot brighter like mine. Next, I have these gems on the bottom. They're Glowfish gems. You could get them if you want. They are just to make the tank look brighter. They are pretty cool. I also have glow rocks. If you turn off the light, it'll make them glow in the dark. They are pretty cool. I got the gems at PetSmart, and I got the rocks at Walmart. They're very good for your fit. Well, the fish don't care about them in the tank, but it makes your tank look very cool still. Next, you're gonna need a filter. So for your filter, I recommend a whisper filter because whisper is a very quiet filter for when you're sleeping. I have my fish tank in my bedroom, so it makes it a lot quieter and it clean. It keeps the tank clean and like clear. So. It's very good filter. I, very, I do really like it. You're going to need a heater because these fish are from Singapore and they are tropical fish. So the heater, you need it at least over the water. You need at least over the heater in order for it to work. And the fish will just hang out by the heater if they need to get heated up. If they think the water's a little cold and if you see them hanging out there a lot, I recommend adding a little bit more warmer water to your tank and also keep your water at least a like an inch lower than where your tank ends at the top next you're going to need a thermometer you need a thermometer to make sure that your tank is the right temperature the right temperature is between 73 and 82 degrees these fish again are very they are tropical fish so they need the right amount of temperature in order for them to live correctly and have a happy life. I have a five gallon tank here, so I have six fish in here. I think I should probably have five, but I have six in here right now. So I have a orange, I have a green, I have a purple, I have a green Danio, and I have a pink, and I have a blue somewhere. He might be hiding, I just can't find him. Oh, he's right there. For your glowfish tank light, I recommend blue or a black light, whatever you want to call it. Because if you do, it'll make your tank a lot brighter and your fish will look a lot brighter. And it'll make your fish live longer just because of the light. I don't recommend leaving the light on at, at night. As you can see, my tank is growing a little bit of algae. I got to scrub that off when I have time. It, it, if you leave your light on at night, it'll, it'll make your algae grow ridiculously fast. Now, I have a whole setup under here of all my stuff. I totally recommend getting this Glowfish conditioner. It'll keep your tank lasting longer. You don't need to change the water as much. And it'll keep your fish nice and healthy. Now I recommend feeding them once in the morning and once at night. Only a pinch should do just fine. My fish go crazy when I feed them. Your fish might not, but they will get used to it and they will go crazy just like mine. As from my perspective, I recommend putting a name tag. I have a little name tag here because, well, my once that green tetra jumped out and it was on the ground and I had to save it from dying. So I put something here to prevent it from jumping out of the lid. So if your fish seem to be jumping a lot or very like active in your tank, Put something on the top, please. I don't want your fish to die. Lastly, if you want, you could put a black background on your tank. I don't have one because I don't, I can't find the right size of a black, black background for my tank. So I just don't have one. It doesn't really bother me that much though. So I kind of don't mind it. It's fine if you don't have one. It's fine if you do have one. 
I'm just saying I don't. For watching, please stay tuned for more videos like this. My next video will be on how to take care of your salt order fish tank. So if you are looking up to setting up one, please stay tuned and you will find out how to set up your own salt order fish tank next. Thanks for watching.